Miss Lynn and I are gonna have a little chat now. I didn't think that I was gonna have time to do a video this week, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, really? I went to the market for the first time all year. I was actually intending on going earlier this year, but things happen. I didn't bring all of my products. Mostly, I didn't bring all of my woodworking products, but the majority of all of my paintings. Because, to be honest, paintings are meant for a certain person. If it's kind of like, a, I don't know, Thor's hammer, it only is allowed to be used by one person. I don't know. It's the wand thing, like in Harry Potter. It's only meant for one wizard. Because of the fact that I brought most of my painting stuff, I did that for a reason. In past markets, I have sold out of all of my woodworking and stuff. Well, I only sold one coaster set yesterday. Regardless, I had a really good day yesterday. I'm really happy about it, but it made me realize what you guys want. Y'all really fracking love the paint pour coasters. I already made two sets last night, and I'm gonna make another set right now, and probably another set later today, but I have a lot to do because you guys clean me out of things. And this was just like a test to see how we're doing kind of thing, not even like I want to sell a crap ton of things. Granted, I want to sell things, but... We're gonna be making another coaster set. I'm gonna try to do something a little different. I will obviously film it. I'm excited about it. I really, really, really felt good and I feel good now about what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to prep these coasters, tape them off, and then we're going to do a paint pour. And I might end the video there. I don't know yet. And anybody that is new here, thank you. Hi, my name is Megan. I do art stuff. I really don't know what this channel is anymore, but it's kind of turning into an art channel, which I'm fine with. It's all promotion, but I'm rambling, so let's get started. What I'm gonna try to do is a white base coaster with purple, some blue, yellow, and a little bit of gold. Almost like a flower feel, and I've seen some people do it, but I don't know if it'll work out on these because they're so small, but we're gonna try. Didn't really go how I was expecting for the first one, so, um, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not the vibrancy that I was going for. Next one. Hopefully it'll be better. That one's a little bit more like how I want it to be. I'm gonna do the next two off camera just to see if I can focus um, and then we'll move on to the next thing. I finished those coasters and they're back there drying but I don't want to show you them yet because I actually want to do something else. The paintings that I just did, I didn't add anything to the, to the paint itself, right? But with a painting like this, I'm sorry there's something stuck in the middle of it. I can't help it. But a painting like this, because of the fact that this has silicone oil in it, I have to clean it before I can put resin over it, or the resin will literally not adhere to the paint. It won't be all shiny, it'll be all blotchy. This one had silicone oil in it. Like, you can see it's shiny, right? But look right there. Resin does not like silicone oil, period. So I already cleaned this. I am gonna put a little layer of gloss gel over the top of it. I'm probably gonna put two layers on because that just puts another layer between the paint, the gel, and then the resin on top of all that. Think of a cake, okay? I need to have icing in between the cakes. Do not eat this, please. But before we start resining, I want to show you guys the coasters because That first one that we did, yeah, I totally redid that. Oh, your girl's got a new box of gloves. If I ever become a tattoo artist, I'm just gonna have one glove that's clear and the other one that's blue. This clock is 10 inches in diameter, so basically needs about three ounces. Done. We're gonna close this up and I'll see you in two days. Academy Awards, but it lost out to Iraqi Odyssey. I have no idea where that came from. Okay, I literally said pause, but then she gave me a dialect of something. I don't know. We last left off at I was sealing the clock, right? I don't think I've gone through more stress in my entire life than this stupid clock face. She is finished. 
after five days of trying to get this stupid piece of turd to work. Sealed the first time with y'all, and I thought it was going great. Normally, after 24 hours, it's like hard to touch. It's still a little soft, but it's not fully cured. Well, I went to touch it, and there were soft, gooey little spots all over. Um, okay, this is not supposed to happen. So I let it sit for another day. Still tacky. Did my research, and I think I stated this before, that sometimes silicone oil does not let resin cure. I think it said it too many times like freaking Beetlejuice. It doesn't cure because of silicone oil. Resin doesn't cure because of silicone oil. Silicone because of silicone oil. I scraped off the gooey parts and did another coat. This is day three now. Still some chunks that didn't seal, so I was like, do I want and say, no, we're not selling this clock, or are we gonna try to fix it? Resin is very expensive, like very <gasps> expensive. It's like, okay, I'll try it one more time. Yesterday was day four. Looking at this stuff and it just was not sitting right with me. So I took some of the tape off off the side and come to find out the whole side of the daggone clock was not cured and was peeling up. I spent over an hour and a half yesterday peeling up uncured resin and taking a giant chunk out of this clock and doing it for a third time. But it's day five. Everyone seems to be looking good. I pray to God that this goes quick because if this sits in my booth for a little while, we're gonna have a problem. But yeah, that's how it went. She is done. She's gonna sit for another day. I'm not touching her anymore. I don't think I've ever had so much pain in one painting. I need to go to therapy after this painting. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the whatever amounts of stuff that I have in this video because I have no idea. Please stay tuned for whatever else has to come. Check out my socials, uh, check out my website. This will be up. That's all I got. I'm gonna go cry now because this was too much. And I will see you guys next time. A peace. Wait, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I, I don't know why I, I, I'm done. Bye. Who doesn't like shiny things? I literally had at least 45 people tell me yesterday, I love this shiny thing. I know, I do too, that's why I do it.